All right, guys, we're back on SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. More alternate stories, so with that being said, let's just dive on in with friends like these. So I chose to play as Carlito for this alternate story. <laughs> the voice great. Now that's cool. Hey, what's up, big guy? Shane just told me that he's teaming us up for a run at the tag team titles at Unforgiven. I guess we've got a match against some wannabes later tonight. Yeah, that's what he told me. Man, that tag team title is sure going to look good around the waist of the masterpiece. I mean, it looks pretty good anyway. Right, ladies? Yeah, well... Look at this! Ah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about! Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, and this. Ah. Yeah, I should probably get. But this one is my favorite. Mm. So don't worry about a thing, big guy. In just four weeks, I'm gonna make you a tag team champion. <laughs> Carlito sort of checked out already. Alright, I'm also happy to report uh, off screen I did some experimentation. I do know how to switch your season character at any point, so I can, you can, we can do the Paul Birchall stuff, we can do uh, Legends and stuff like that. Uh, I am a little disappointed though that I already played as Mick Foley, but I think I'm gonna play as Foley again and do that thing I was talking about. I forgot which part it was, but one of the parts I was talking about playing is each face of Foley for the four weeks. So that is actually possible to do. It's not that hard, actually. Um, so yeah. So I got some plans of who to use for certain Ladies stories. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. I'm the old Oklahoma Sooner, Jim Ross, here with my partner, Jerry the King Lawler. And here comes the man who thinks he's going to be one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions in just over four weeks at Unforgiven. The masterpiece, Chris Masters. It's not a matter of Chris Masters thinking he's going to be half of the tag team champion. Look at the confidence. He knows it. Masters looking confident, flexing backstage, and the oohs and the ahs of <laughs> Tori and Candace. <laughs> so impressive. All right, are, are we aware this man only won a title in a cutscene? All right, I don't think he's the real deal, man. I think he cares more about flexing than our uh, championship run here, but yeah, we got Masters and Carlito teaming up, so this is going to be pretty fun. And we already got a little bit of Carlito voiceover, so that's nice. Hopefully we get some more. Of course, Carlito was in uh, some of the other stories, the taking on a show one, for example. Leader of the Lead Pipe Gang. Chris Masters. But yeah, like I said, uh, with the season characters, um... I kind of regret using Mick Foley in that Shawn Michaels frame storyline, but I don't want to re-record it because, like, I, I, if I do that, I'm going to lose everything I talked about in that storyline, so we're just stuck with it. Um, it was cool playing as Mick, but I now I'm going to basically be playing as Mick again for another storyline because I really want to do that idea where we switch between the faces of Foley. I think that's a really unique idea, um, and it'll be fun, so... And then definitely I'm going to be using Paul Burchill for one title challenge storyline, and maybe I'll use him for a title defense storyline. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I don't know if I should just use Birchall once, or like if I use him twice, it'd be in a title challenge and defense, so it'd be a total of I, maybe up to three months, two videos. Now that's cool. Pounds, Carlito! Carlito. So we still got some uh, uh, decent amount of alternate stories left. There's some title challenges on Raw I never got to do. Uh, one of the substitution storylines, few SmackDown title challenges, few SmackDown, I think, generic storylines. So. And I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. Hopefully we get a, I don't know if we're going to get a singles match in this storyline. Hopefully we do so we can watch the Carlito win animation. Carlito and Masters teaming up here. I don't know. Honestly, around this time with Masters and Carlito, I honestly thought they had like a ton of poten potential to being in like the main event scene. Like, 
I guess you could say they kind of were. I mean, but not really. I mean, I don't feel like they really made it to that level, but just kind of felt like they're the ones that were next in line. I don't know. That's just how I felt. Maybe I'm like <laughs> the only person that felt that way, but yeah, I don't know. I already forgot who we're facing. Who <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I seem to be talking about Paul Burchill and Mick Foley. Rob Van Dam. Man, like, I really, see, like, I also really want to use Rob Van Dam for one of the storylines. But, like, yeah, I don't know, it's, like, we only have a limited amount left, so, it, like, it's hard to choose, you know. For old time's sake, Rob Van Dam. But I'm not going to forget, though, he left us high and dry in that uh, alternate story video when we were playing as Kane, so... But of course, I guess this is an alternate universe. Maybe RVD never did that in this one. Maybe they shared the pizza, him and Kane. <laughs> Something I thought about. Like, as of right now of recording, um, the world's <laughs> I haven't uploaded that uh, story that I'm talking about, the Kane RVD one. But uh, something I was thinking about after recording that is like, if you never watch my Here Comes the Pain playthrough, like, you don't probably won't even get to eat the, all the pizza. You'll have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, something I just kind of thought about afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Big Vist with this decently long entrance. Swooping in here. I mean, RVD and Viscera are a pretty uh, unique team here. Rob Viscera Dam. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Am I ready for Viscera? I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, though, playing as Carlito, this is now officially the coolest uh, season video of all of them, so... Damn. This is the pinnacle of coolness here. I can't stop, yeah, baby. This are just eating up all the time here. <laughs> Look at him! Oh, you know, I just realized I forgot to do I forgot to do the multiplayer thing to play as both Masters and Carlito. I see, I was too busy talking about Paul Virtual and Mick Foley. Like, I wasn't paying attention to who I was facing. I didn't select both people in multiplayer. That kind of sucks, but... I guess we had to deal with it. Alright, fighting in the crowd. Great advice. Too bad the TQ's on this match. Alright, here we go. From Oakland, California. I'm Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. I've never seen a hotter crowd, JR. These Oakland fans are completely out of control. This is gonna be great. You're not wrong. Alright, my first game. move gets reversed. <laughs> great start. Rob Van Dam. And I believe I've talked about this a lot in like some of the other season parts. Not a big fan of the 360 uh 07 Carlito model. I think the face is kind of weird. I think it, it improved a lot in uh, SVR 08. I think the PS2 version looks fine though in this game. Like, I don't know. Double team, let's go. Yeah, working together! Except for the illegal guy went for the pin, that was kind of blockheadish. Right, I, don't know, I don't know how Max is going to be kicked out. What? Kyoto! Are you serious? Look at this! My god! Cover! Kyo the fast count him. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. Like, he tried to kick out Masters, but Masters slid out and then he ended up grabbing RVD. That was big, dude. Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on more. Yep. We're the heels here, right? We're working heel. That was like a 10,000 IQ move from Masters, though. Maybe he really isn't just this arrogant partner he's been built up to be in the first cutscene. Maybe he's like two steps ahead of everyone here. So I believe Carlitos finishes in this game. He's got the back cracker, or as he changed it later, back stabber, and then the cool shot. Uh, so I don't know which one we're gonna do here. Looks like he's tagging in his partner. Viscer's coming in. Might be time to tag in Masters here for a little mix up here. But I'm getting destroyed by Viscer already. <laughs> All right, 
I guess I'm faced because uh, my momentum's going down after some of this heal move. Let's get Masters in here. See what he's got here. Fake double team moves. I hate how the computer doesn't actually like follow up with that. And that's why his fans call he's a slippery devil. Alright, Masters, let's see what you got. I feel like we shouldn't no time for just flexing and posing here. I gotta see some uh some real wrestling, my man. Like we were looking at a sculptor in a museum or something. If you want to zip your lip for a few minutes, King, I won't complain. But don't expect me to start. Remember, Masters got that really high strength, so he's actually pretty solid. I actually wish I was playing him right now, but I forgot the multiplayer thing. <laughs> Blockhead maneuver, let's not do that in the next match. Oh, okay. Double team moves. Oi! <laughs> Big Viss is not messing around. Oh boy, there's the tag! Probably had a fruit roll up. You ought to get some control here. Okay, I don't know why I was focused on Viscera. I'm trying to get familiar with this Carlito moveset here and see what we got. Bulldog, my god! Alright, I feel like all my strong gra grapples are being reversed here. Let's try to find something. Headlock, yeah! Cinch it in! Listen to the crowd, JR! You know, I wonder what Carlito's favorite type of ap apple actually is. Has anyone ever asked him that? Like, you know, there's like, what is it, like Red Delicious? Or is it Golden Delicious and like Granny Smith? And <laughs> I forgot all the name of the apples, but <laughs> I wonder if he has a preference. Alright. I'm gonna blame Kyoto for that one. Alright, Masters, need some, need some backup, my man. I mean, my momentum's pretty good right now, and Bane Dame's actually pretty uh, hurt. Yep! <sighs> Combos. By God, Carlito with the heel moveset, I just sacrificed all my momentum. That's a big rip right there. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> for some reason, I just didn't even see Viscera there. We need to get momentum Rob fast. Is such an amazing athletic competitor. There's not a doubt in my mind. Oh boy. These top rope oh boy. Can go either way. Here we go. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, oh my god, I thought I was gonna hit Kyoto again. I'm hanging in there. This match is weird because look, I feel it's such a in such control, but Carlito's got so many heal moves that I keep actually losing momentum from being offensive here. So I need to do stuff like this here. Okay. <laughs> now that's not cool. Okay, tagging in Van Dan. That's kind of blockhead uh, maneuver right there. I mean, RVD's pretty hurt. So we gotta find some, like, actually, like, not <laughs> low blows and stuff. There we go. I got a lot of momentum from that. Cross chaining Carlito, RBD's hurt. I think I'm gonna go for the the backcracker here. Yep. This is gonna be cool. I'm not sure his opponent would agree. That backcracker usually that backcracker. All right, I, that was my fault. I told Masters to attack the wrong guy, but come on now. Every time I see that backcracker move, I just have this memory. Oh, cute. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, I just have this memory. Uh, growing up. <laughs> Like, I remember one time we were at my friend's house. It was me, one of my friends, and, like, I think somebody else, like, four of us. And, like, we're messing around on a trampoline. And my friend just out of nowhere actually did, like, a legit backcracker to my other friend. Like, actually hurt him. Like, he was crying. I was just like, dude, why did you do that? <laughs> just a straight-up real backcracker on a trampoline. I'll never forget that. Okay, well, maybe we should go for that cool shot, brother. And then call in Masters, and if it doesn't work, then we're probably just tagged out here. It got reversed. <laughs> now that's not cool. Yep, that's cool headlock, though. Ever seen a headlock executed in such a cool manner? 
I don't think so. Oh, double reverses from RVD, alright. And there goes my momentum. It's time. Okay, no. I was going to control the move, brother. It's time to control the move. What a taunt. Why does this taunt seem so familiar? <laughs> But doesn't somebody else have that taunt too? <laughs> yeah. Try again. He reversed. Yeah, I figured he was going to tag out there. Maybe uh, Batcracker and Viscera could be the play. Yeah, Carly was pretty hurt. I'm going to go for it. I was focused on the wrong guy. Absolute blockhead maneuver. I had like a split second window to do it too, and I was just like a frame too slow. That would have been good too, because RVD was outside the ring. Oh no, Carlito's hurt. Oh, okay, we got to get a uh, masses in here. Back cracker. Okay, Kyoto, get him out. Okay, he's just lead. I just got kicked in the head. Ah, uh, he's gonna kick out. He's, yeah, if they're standing up like that, they just kick out pretty much right away. Uh, okay. So it's either tagging masters or try to get another finisher quick. I mean, he was only orange, so he might have kicked out anyways. But yeah, the strength of Carlito. Oh no. Okay, low drop kick. Carlito's hurt. Might be time to tag in Masters, but I think I'm gonna go for one more finisher. Oh no, if Mr. hits his finisher, I mean this would be this would be over. Big Bess is a man of strong appetites, if you know what I mean. Okay, this is a big reversal. My stamina is really low though. Backbreaker. And there goes all my stamina. And barbecue ribs, look at this. Barbecue ribs and a stamina depletion. Oh. <laughs> that's rough right there. Now that's not cool. Oh, but he gets the barbecue ribs as well. Let's go. There. I'm going to go for the cool shot. Okay, Master, you need some defense here. Come on, let's go. You're useless. You pushed him into the ropes, you blockhead. Yeah. <laughs> there goes all my stamina. <laughs> yeah, I think the play is going to be store this, get stamina while Master's messing around. Oh no! The referee's been knocked out. This can't be good. Are you kidding? Now anything goes. It doesn't get any better than that, Jr. The referee is down. No, he reversed. That was my chance. Don't you dare use the master lock. Save it, and I'll tag you in, my man. Don't be a blockhead. Okay, that's step one. Now get out. Now get out, please. Get out. Don't you dare waste it. Boy, what a match. Okay, he's teeing off on Viscera. We're starting off with a 10-minute classic here, apparently. Okay, Carlito hurt. We need the masterpiece in there. Least damage competitor right now. I'm, just, I'm setting it up for you. Okay. Don't pin him off a regular move. Come on. Now we gotta have better honor than that. Don't you dare. Stop. I'm, I'm not even gonna go in there. I'm not allowed. I'm not I'm not participating in this cheese. Got your back though. Locking that master lock and it's over, my man. Master lock! Uh, he should be able to get him here, I think. Oh no! Yes, let's go! Unfortunately, Masters gets all the glory, so he's gonna be pretty arrogant about this. But you know what? We got the win. I'm gonna blame the fact I selected, I did not select the multiplayer option for that. But I mean, we won, so nothing wrong here. Yeah.
<laughs> Let's go. I kind of cried as the key to the master lock. Why did he not give it to Viscera? Let's go. Are these your next tag champions or not? We'll have to wait and find out. There's Ric Flair. Never forget that Ric Flair uh, promo on Carlito backstage where he calls him like lazy or whatever. Because guys like you. <laughs> That's so funny. WWE.com did on us, but if you haven't, don't bother. They took everything completely out of context and misquoted me all over the place. You know how the internet is. Anyway, we've got a big match tonight against a couple of wannabe champions, so you're gonna have to try extra hard to keep up with me out there. See you in the ring. All right. Do I? <laughs> this article is not sounding good. Hello, it's Candice Michelle. I know you were probably planning to just stand in the corner and let Chris do all of the work in your match tonight. But do you think you could maybe contribute a little bit more? The Masterpiece and I have got big plans tonight, and I don't want him to get all tired out carrying you through the match. Thanks. Bye. All right. I see how it is, Masters. All right. I was the one that did all the work. I just tagged you in for the finish, my man. All right. Let's see what he said. A masterful performance. The masterpiece Chris Masters pulled off a stunning victory last week in a Raw Tag uh, Team match against Rob Van Dam and Viscera. And if you don't believe it, just ask him. It's no secret that the masterpiece is one of the greatest singles competitors ever to set foot in a WWE ring, says Masters. But I think a lot of people were impressed last week when I beat RVD and Viscera so easily. But that's what the masterpiece does best impress people. When asked about how it felt to team up with Carlito, Masters had this to say. Well, let's face it, I could have teamed me up with anyone in the Royal Locker Room and it wouldn't have made a difference. But I've got to give Carlito credit. He did his job and didn't get in my way. <laughs> Masters and his partner are slated to team up against Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch tonight in Raw as they continue their march toward a number one contender match for Kane and Snitsky's tag team titles at Unforgiven. All right, well, the fact that Masters is the one that got the, the submission victory actually kind of contributes to this storyline more. He's acting like it was all him. All right, come on now. All right, now we're gonna do the multiplayer option. Now I'm playing with both of them here. All right, Matt, was Masters truly misquoted or is he just being an arrogant fool here? So we found out that Kane and Snitsky are the world tag team champions in the storyline. So that's the goal. I spit in the face. Man, this guy gets to team up with Chris Masters cool. again? Imagine that. Two weeks in a row, he gets a physical specimen like the Masterpiece as his partner. How lucky is that? I'm not sure I'd exactly call that lucky, King. Quite frankly, I'm starting to wonder if he might have done something to get on Shane McMahon's bad side. Oh, come on. What are you talking about, JR? If he just keeps his mouth shut and does what the Masterpiece tells him, he's going to be tag team champion. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. I spit in the face All right. <laughs> people who don't want to be cool. Now that's not, that article was not cool. Where's my interview? Hey, let's go. So Kate and Murdoch, of course we uh, interacted with them a bit in the high and dry storyline where Trevor Murdoch was an absolute psycho in that. <laughs> But like I said, I'm teaming up with a physical specimen like Chris Masters. You be cool. Alright, well, we'll probably uh, listen for the commentator dialogue if there's any that skip Masters entrance because it takes six years and we already saw it. Who this man? From Los Angeles, California. Wow, no dialogue. I just want to appreciate this specimen. All right, we'll watch Kane Murdoch one though. Got my lemons here ready too as well. Oh, what? Why are they not doing the tag animation together? Are you serious? From Waxahachie, Texas, weighing in at 250 pounds, Trevor Murdoch. Trevor Murdoch, the psycho Trevor Murdoch.
This is weird they're not coming out together. They have a tag animation in the game. They, and we played a storyline with them earlier and they came out together in all those. Yuke's explain. <laughs> I want a deep explanation for this that's at least three pages long, MLA spacing. Or format, double space. We're excited as well. We'll get to see the solo entrances though, which I don't think we've seen in the season playthrough. Well, actually, maybe we had. Didn't we face one of them in like a singles match or something? I mean, just think about it. I could potentially use Trevor Murdoch for one of these alternate stories. That is an option. <laughs> just look at that face, man. Is that the face of a WWE champion, you think? Remember, like I said earlier in this video, I know how to change uh, the main character to anyone now, so we're not limited just to people's voice acting. From Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 282 pounds, Lance Cade. Lance Cade. Yeah, I, I know I already said this in the video, but I'm kind of struggling with, like, who I want to use for what storylines, like, because... Part of me just must be, like, a little wild and, like, bust out, like, maybe, like, Michael Cole or something again, but... I don't know, man. It's tough. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll replay the season mode again just as Paul Burchill. Um, I did notice, though, when you change your character, it can get a little glitchy sometimes. Uh, like, uh, I skipped through an entire storyline as, like, uh, an NPC. And like after the storyline completed, it just looped the same storyline again. So I think what you got to do is like get the storyline you want first, save, and then switch the character, and then you can play that storyline. It, it's weird. Like I don't even know how to explain it. Um, so like it, I'm not adding them to the season menu. I'm simply selecting somebody else and then modifying the superstar ID of the main character. Um, so that's how it works. I don't know if there is a way to add them to the menu. I didn't try experimenting with that. Welcome to Raw. Who knows? Live tonight from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm Jim Ross. Yeah, it was pretty glitchy, but I know I can make it work. It'll just be a, a little bit of work. Oh my, he's got punched out of it. Masters wants in immediately. But I guess he got punched out of a drop kick. Oh, he's back to the stomps. This psycho is stomping away again. It's like he did the cane. My God. I feel like we shouldn't even be talking during this match, JR. We should just right. silently admire the masterpiece. Like we were looking at so actually, I think I actually am going to get Masters in here since I'm controlling both of them now. Yep. <laughs> so he should be healed, so if I have like low blows and stuff with Masters, I'll actually get momentum from them, which would be nice. Murdoch's already yellow. Oh my God, this high strength Masters cheese. Yep, chin lock, brother. Wow, Lance came with the worst defense or uh, offense ever. Okay. Okay, Kyoto, get some control here. Oh my god, Kyoto. Why does Carlito keep coming back in? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Finally, I was gonna say, when's he gonna leave? Oh my god, I wonder if I can get him with a master lock here. I need to wait for Carlito to come back in though. Oh, he reversed it. I wonder if I would have got him there or not. Cause I have his body orange. Might be time to tag back in Carlito though. I think Carlito needs a pinfall victory this week. We don't need more Masters arrogance. WWE.com article is claiming he beat the whole ros roster single-handedly while Candice was watching. Right, Carlito's back in. Now that's cool. Yep. I'm gonna steal one. He's actually red. Yeah, I'm destroying Murdoch here. Yep. 
Okay, ready? We're gonna go for the. Uh... Never mind. <laughs> no, all that hard work is gonna tag out. No! Oh. Oh my God, that snap jab sent him way out of the ring. All right, Carly just got like no stamina though. Lance K keeps missing chops all day. Get Masters in here, I guess. Oh, I, since I'm controlling Masters, I can actually finish the double team move. Look at this. Ah, oh, God. All right, we gotta play like Masters in the story and just flex every two seconds. The arrogance, man. I need sound effects of Candice and Tori ooing and eyeing. <laughs> All right, Carlito, you're gonna get that stamina back or just slowly trot over, then get it back. Come on now. Yep. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication respect of me. these superstars to their careers. Well, Carlito wants no back in. I don't really blame him. Every superstar on the this. roster has had to make more sacrifices yep. than any other professional athlete. All right, Kyoto, yell all you want, my man. You're not gonna do anything. We already know. Even get a strong grapple in his masters. No. My god. No! That's a good way to set up the master lock, actually, so you'd be stunned. This can't be good. Are you kidding? Oh! That was interesting. I got reversed, but I actually got a finisher because I hit my partner and I'm dirty. That's actually kind of crazy. Whoa! Okay, it's pandemonium. I can slap on the master lock. Oh, cool shot. Oh my god, we could have such a cool finish. I probably need some help. Thank you. My other finisher is gonna go away though. I was hoping to do a super super dirty move, but it's it's definitely gonna be gone. I can just get another finisher real quick. Actually, it might be a waste of two finishers, but I just think we haven't done a super dirty move this entire uh, playthrough. Not reversed. Rip. <laughs> Rip my man. But do I really want Masters getting the victory two weeks in a row? Here we go. Yep. Oh, what's Masters doing? The brass knocks. Shout out to William Rico for letting me borrow those. <laughs> Cover. Carlito defense. Oh my goodness. That was top tier defense. Now that's cool. But unfortunately now Masters gets the glory again. His ego is through the roof at this point. <laughs> And he gets loading. There's so much masters here. The arrogance on full display. Alright, was Candace right? Did I really let masters do all the work? You decide. <laughs> Alright, we did it, guys. Looking good in the tag division so far. I remember when Masters like like came back for like his second run and I like what was it, like 20, 2010 or something. Like his theme changed and it was like some generic cheesy theme. Like, <laughs> my God. Cheesy Chris Masters. <laughs> All right. Tori. Listen, I don't know if you've seen the latest issue of Raw Magazine, but it's got a great cover story. I hope you realize how lucky you are to be able to team up with someone like Chris Masters. And maybe if you pay attention, you'll learn a thing or two from him. <laughs> I know I have. Anyway, Chris wants the tag team titles, and he needs you to keep your end of the bargain. So try to measure up, okay? All right. I want to hit this man with a backcracker. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Mastering the tag team division. Just a few short weeks, the masterpiece Chris Masters has distinguished himself in a tag team competition on Raw. His impact on the tag division has been so great that acting GM Shane McMahon has taken the unusual step of guaranteeing him a number one contender match for the tag titles. If successful, Masters would face the tag team champions Kane Snitsky at Unforgiven. We're talking about a talent like Chris Masters. You don't make him jump through hoops to compete for title gold, says McMahon. Masters is the kind of superstar that I feel can represent Raw at the highest level. Masters agrees with McMahon's assessment of his character. I guess I could try to pretend to be humble, he says, but let's face it, I've got nothing to be humble about. I'm not an average, ordinary guy, and I'd be full of it if I tried to pretend I was. It's not easy being the entire package, but it's a burden I've got to accept. <laughs> All right. 
This is a tag team storyline, and that whole article was about him. Didn't even mention me. Like, I just pretend I wasn't even there. Like, he gets the. Didn't even mention Carlito. <laughs> and he's on the cover. Oh my god. Is Carlito building some resentment here? No, is that the article? Hey, Masters. Hey, big guy. What's up? Don't big guy me. What's this about? Yeah, isn't it great? The cover of Raw Magazine. Yeah, real great. Why am I not even mentioning I agree? It? You're not? Seriously? I could have sworn you were. Nope. Not there. Oh, not there either. Look, don't get all worked up about it. We've got to focus on our matches tonight against the tag team champs. I've got Snitsky, and you've got Kane, remember? Yeah, I guess I better go and get ready for that. Good luck out there, big guy. Thanks, you too. I don't need luck. Snitsky's as good as beat. Just watch and learn. All right, just gonna leave your magazine on the ground, my man. You pick up that trash? Come on now. Locker room leaders will be pretty upset about that. Trash in the locker room, my man. The, the, I love that WWE magazine prop because like they actually like it was actually matches on the cover and you can see pictures of them. Maybe I should extract that uh, that magazine, get a closer look at it in the texture. <laughs> but this is good. We had a singles match, so hopefully I can beat Kane here, which is easier said than done with his high strength. We can watch the uh, Carlito win animation. Unless there's a cutscene after this, I can't remember. He's about to face the nearly seven foot, 300 pound monster, Kane. Yeah, and unlike his upcoming match against him at Unforgiven, he doesn't have the masterpiece backing him up here tonight. It sounds like you've taken a long, tall drink of Master's Kool Aid King. To hear the masterpiece talk, you'd think he didn't even have a tag team partner. That's not a recipe for a healthy partnership, if you ask me. Yep, I agree. But let's face the facts here. He's gotten the pinfall or submission in both the matches, unfortunately. <laughs> now that's not cool. That magazine article is not cool. Come on. I gave a great interview about the different types of apples, and they didn't even feature it. Took a trip to an apple orchard, got a nice photo shoot from there. Didn't even put one of the pictures in the magazine. Unbelievable. That's not cool, my man. Do what you want, Carlito. <laughs> should, I, should I mod the apple prop to be like a red apple instead? <laughs> you be cool. All right, so we're facing Kane here. First match is against Snitsky. I think he got the easier end of the bargain here. It's no mystery how Kane got to be one half of the tag team champion. The team of Kane and Snitsky must be one of the largest and most aggressive championship teams in WWE history. Yeah, and don't forget ugliest. It's really saying something when Kane is the good-looking half of the team. You're a braver man than I am to say something like that on the air, Kane. I just hope that goodness Kane didn't hear you, or I might have to finish the rest of this broadcast by myself. You we know, to walk over and set you on fire. But yeah, this is a cool opportunity to see the Kane champion entrance. I think I'm definitely going to be showing all the champion entrances in a video or something. Probably in the same video with like win animations and stuff like that. Oh god. Alright, tag team champion Kane. Remember, Kane tried to win the tag titles with RVD, but it all fell apart. Van Dam left him high and dry. But that may have been an alternate universe. Now he's teamed up with Snitsky. <laughs> a big raw welcome to all our fans there we go. in Phoenix, Arizona. Carlito and, and Kane, one on one. This is good old JR Tim Ross here with Jerry the King Law. This place is packed. Need to win this. Potential to see Carlito win animation. We need to win this. Oh, he's controlling the moves immediately. Not a good start. That's we not cool. <laughs> appreciate the support of these great Phoenix fans, and I personally guarantee that they're going to get more than their right, money tonight. There's the reversal. No masters that hog the spotlight here. Where's my magazine article after this? Carlito defeats Kane by himself. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's going to Kane go. sets uh, <laughs> King on fire for his comments. I think this oh, it's time for me to control the moves. 
Right, you know what? I gotta make a statement here. Are you ready for this? Check this out. Check this out! Oh, I missed. How about some quick grapples? They haven't been doing that. There we go. Carlito's cooking now. I'm cooking apples. Oh, here we go. Carlito! We gotta be careful because, yeah, Kane's uh, momentum, or no, I'm sorry, his damage output from reverses are pretty wild, so. Let's stay on the attack, brother. Yep. Oh, we got him yellow already? What on earth? On head and body. Now that's cool. <laughs> Being a wild man, not throwing my finisher right away. You know someone's freaking out right now watching this video. <laughs> I need to store this, but I don't want to accidentally use it there. As you can see, he was stunned from that uh, comic drop. Well, Carlito's stamina is low, though. This, this aggressive strat is kind of working, but how long can I sustain it with this stamina here? Or maybe use the Irish whip method. No! Yeah, I'm going to get stamina here. Oh. Hey, Carlito's got two finishers here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I go for double backcracker or cool shot backcracker? I don't, I don't know. Yep! I think what we're going to do is try to pin him off this first one. And if it doesn't work, just do another one. See if we can get it. He's only orange, so... Cover! Nope. <laughs> All right, we're clean, so no point of arguing with the ref. Let's just get stamina here. Wait for him to get up. Yeah, he got up way faster than I thought he would. It's a little scary to watch oh, here we go. Back. Oh, boo. <laughs> Kane's gonna control the moves. All right, well we're back to square one here. We got some good damage on him though, but got like no momentum now, and I'm gonna lose momentum from this reversal. That's some cheese, brother. Oh, never mind. That's not the reversal. We got momentum from that. No one forces a superstar to get into the ring against Kane. If they are, this is a risky move. I'm gonna hit my knee drop this time. Nope. <laughs> Oh no, dirty move, my momentum! <laughs> wow, I lost a lot from that. That's crazy, dude. How about a strong grapple to make up for it? There we go. I think this could be the beginning of the end. No! It can't end like this! No! I think this crowd's giving these superstars. Oh, he's got barbecue ribs though. I'm gonna get up fast and I should be able to store. Oh boy! <laughs> So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Alright, here we go. Yes! So. yes. <laughs> oh my god, that should be it. Cover. Hopefully, I can see the Carlito win animation, unless there's something unique for this uh, match. Carlito gets the win. No Chris Masters required. Where is my magazine article? I am ready for my interview. I'll meet you backstage, whoever's interviewing me. Maybe Maria's around at this time to interview me. Yes, let's go! Here's your winner, Carlito. Carlito! Kane's out. <laughs> this is a message right here. Big bite of that apple. My guy and the apple particle effects. <laughs> yeah, so the 07 uh, Carlito win animation is a little bit different. I, I think it's in either an 08 or 09 they updated it where like he like spits and throws the apple and leaves the ring. Which I like that one better than the 07 one, but that one's cool too. Right, let's move on to the story here. You know what would have been funny is like a little easter egg for when you play the storyline. Or hold on, I'll hold that thought for a second. Yeah, Sunday's gonna be a big day. Tag team title gold, seems like it's taken forever to get here. I mean, if there were two of me, we'd be champions by now. But I don't think you two could handle two masterpieces, could ya? But I bet you wouldn't have any trouble handling two of this guy, would ya? Hey, hey! Calm down. You've got to get your head in the game. We've got a non-title match against Kane and Snitsky tonight. If we win, 
We go on to Unforgiven this Sunday to face him for the tag team titles. Now I know I've carried you this far. But Snitsky and Kane are two of the biggest, toughest guys on the Raw roster. So I'm going to need you to pull your weight tonight. Okay? Carlito's just not listening. <laughs> Come on, girls. It's showtime. All right. Will you team up with Masters or go at it alone? I'm sick and tired of Masters taking all the credit and none of the blame. But I have to do is put up with them until Unforgiven. I better get ready for our match. Forget this. No title is worth having to deal with Masters' ego. He can go out there alone tonight and to hell with our tag team title match at Unforgiven. Um, you know what? Let's be honest here. Masters, it's true. He's been a terrible partner. He's taken all the credit. I don't even get one picture in WWE Magazine. But you know what? I think I'm going to stick with him, man. Arlito and Masters sticking together. But what I was saying before that uh, cutscene was uh, it'd be funny if like an Easter egg, um, like every loading screen was Chris Masters or something. That would have been funny. <laughs> Actually, I could do that. I could just go to my locker room and turn them all off besides Masters. But there's shared loading screen in this game, so it's Masters and somebody else that flips between them. I guess that would require some modding to get full masters. Well, here he is, the one man tag team. Unbelievable. Oh, come on now, JR. Don't start in on the masterpiece again. You're looking at a tag team legend in his own time. A legend in his own mind is more like it. I thought I'd seen some narcissistic individuals in this business, but masters takes the cake. But nonetheless, all he and his partner have to do is win this number one contender match tonight, and they'll get their title match at Unforgiven. All right, we're going to skip Masters here. I'm sticking with him, guys, despite all the negative things he's done for me. But this time, Carlito is getting the pin or submission in this tag match. Not Masters, all right? I'm so as to how this man is able to put up with Masters act week in and week out. But I guess that's the price he's willing to pay for an opportunity to win the tag team title. True. You know, JR, I almost never say this, but you're right. All he's got to do is follow the Masterpiece's lead, and he's coming home from Unforgiven with a tag team title. Oh, stop. It's clear to me that he's been doing more than following Masters' lead whether the so-called masterpiece wants to give him credit or not. It's true, man. The fans know the truth, all right? That's why we got to just st stick with it, man. Who cares what Masters thinks, man? But I guess maybe WWE.com or WWE Magazine doesn't care because they wouldn't even let me get an interview or anything, man. That's not cool. Yeah, as you can kind of see the approach I took with this, the idea is um, I wanted to team up Masters and Carlito. So like there's kind of two approaches to this, actually sticking with him or like, you know, abandoning him. So I just wanted to stick with him. That's kind of what I planned from the beginning. You better be cool. Plus, you know, I wanted to see the Carlito win animation. <laughs> but, you know, for sure, um, I'll definitely do a video like champion entrances, win animations, preset entrances, stuff like that. And the opponent. From Nesquehoning, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 300 pounds, Snitsky. Snitsky. If Snitsky gets pinned and they lose, it won't be his fault, though. All right. <laughs> what about the Snitsky season mode? <laughs> Anyone want that? A full Snitsky run? I mean, but here's the here's the question though: Is Carlito uh, more interested in the tag titles or uh, Candice and Tori? Remember earlier I was talking about that Ric Flair promo on Carlito. That Tori was in that segment too. That's when Carlito was uh, with her most of the time. Somewhat continuity here. Guys like you will never be successful. Lazy. <laughs> oh my God. Weighing 326 pounds, Kane! Kane! Alright, we'll skip this. Actually, what I want to know is, did Masters beat Snitsky on Raw as well or not? That's all I want to know. We never get to find out. <laughs> if 
If he lost, then he got exposed then, Raw. <laughs> Fraud. I was carrying him. The truth is out. Alright, the ultimate goal is Carlito get the pin. Will that cost me the match, though? If I have a specific finish in mind here. I could get greedy and lose the match for us. You never know. Oh, here we go. Kane and Carlito starting off. Maybe I should tag in Masters, do a little bit of damage first, and then get Carlito in. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh oh, oh! You gotta stop this guy before he really gets going. I don't think that's gonna happen, King. He's built up too much momentum to be stopped now. He countered that and made it look easy. You're not gonna get him. Oh no! I'm eating so much damage immediately. I'd rather be eating apples, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm yellow. Thirty seconds in. Pretty obvious which way this one's gonna go, Jr. Well, from my perspective. Tactical retreat. I got nothing to prove. I already beat King one on one. Good teamwork. He's obviously not feeling too threatened. Jay. Okay, I thought Carlito was gonna get him. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Fight Tony there. The arrogance of Masters. Yeah. All right, we gotta use that high strength to our advantage, brother. Oh, we got him yellow as well. Just damage being thrown out left and right here. I think these superstars are getting some feedback from the crowd, Jr. Nothing wrong with that, King. That's what we like to hear. Master's got some decent strikes, huh? And some combos here with that Kurt Angle eye, uh, eye rake thing. No, no, no! Oh, I must just got forced into a tag there. I didn't mean to do that twice, but <laughs> it kind of worked. He's sure not going to win over any fans with that move. Quick tags are the best way to win a tag team match, JR. Oh, just, uh, is, uh, there a military press slam ultimate control move in this game? Oh, here's the suplex on. This match has the potential yep. to be an instant classic. And I think Dalling vertical suit like the strength of the masterpiece. By God. Well, I heard that we gave him an IQ test and the results came back negative. Folks, I've got to apologize for King here tonight. There we go. Slow it down, brother. I think I'm going to do a little bit of damage to Snitsky and tag Carlito back in. Okay, never mind. <laughs> the plan is backfired. Excellent counter. What ring presence? My God. I tell you, King. Sometimes I get oh. exhausted just watching these superstars compete. Control the moves. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got okay. to have some. Time for Carlito to come back in. To be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, Jr. Oh my god, that was actually a pretty sick combo from Kane. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, well, Snitsky's coming back, and I'll do a little bit of damage and then tag in Carlito. I think I'm going to hold on to this uh, finisher with Masters for a little bit of a safety net. Yep! So strong! It's time to control the moves, Kyoto. He's unstoppable. You can't ever count on these fans, JR. They're fickle. Whoops. There goes the referee. Okay, well, if I'm about to get two finishers, I'll probably do a master lock here. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell. Oh boy, there's the tag. Okay, quick tag, though. I think his finish is going to go away. I'll admit it. You know what? It's a little scary to watch him. Oh, what? But there we go. Dirty move. Matt is back at it. Oh. Who all you want? Yell all you want, my man. Right, Carlito coming in. Masters, you take care of that stamina thing. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Yep. Yep. No, I keep doing dirty moves. My momentum. <laughs> Or did it? Am I heal now or something or what? Let's see. Oh, we'll never know. <laughs> okay, I'm doing some solid damage on Kane though. Hard to leg for no reason. Okay, I'm gonna go for Batcracker. Hopefully, Masters can. Uh... No, 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 no. I gotta store this quick. <laughs> Right in the fridge. Oh, what a job from Carlito. Okay, no, I'm still clean. So my momentum is going down. Me. Okay, 
No. I know Snitsky's not the most popular guy on the roster. No, nope, Matthew's not coming. He wants so much glory, dude. Wrecking crew in action. No! Dude, I have like no momentum now, too. Exciting is the word for it, King. I got a specific finish in mind. Carlito getting the pin. Will it cost me, folks? Okay, I knew he was going to do that. Should have backed away. Store that. Let's get some stamina. Oh, Science says it was your fault. That's a heavy accusation. Snitsky, how do you feel about that? Wrestling hell tonight. They've already got a pretty good start on that, JR. They have oh, okay, I thought I was gonna be able to do the back cracker there. Okay, Kane really wants to tag out. I don't want this to happen. I wonder if this is gonna deplete my stamina. I'm just gonna go for the No! one makes it up the ladder. Oh no, stop to the very limit. Masters help. Can you get me here? Oh what? He's probably gonna tag out. Oh, he ran a stamina and barbecue ribs. This is my opportunity. Oh. <laughs> get up, Carlito. Lost momentum for hitting the illegal guy. Looks like he's going for it. Cool shot. I tried. See, I tried to drag him away from the ropes. I was risky, and he reversed it. They sure are, Jr. And I love to hear it. Carlito's gonna steal one. <laughs> yeah, there's no way it's worth. Oh no, Masters, help! Stop flexing for the crowd and help. It looks like they've slowed the match down. Oh, there goes my stamina. Oh. <laughs> okay, Kane's got a headache. Very good. Oh. <laughs> All right, Carlito, let's hurry. The specific finish. I might actually have to get Masters the glory again. You hate to see it, but it might have to be done here. I'd ask you who you want to win this matchup, JR, but it's been pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. Okay, my stamina is at least going up here. Objective as I can, King. Quite frankly, I'd rather see a good no! <laughs> uh, we're stuck in the reversal of finisher vortex here. Schoolboy, come on. Oh. Okay, we need stamina though. I mean, Kane's pretty low too, so. Okay, here we go. Please don't be a rope break. Alright, Master, do some defense, my man. You block him! <laughs> oh my god. He just wants all the glory. He did that on purpose. I'm telling you. Alright. WWE Magazine should cover that. Chris Masters blockhead. Oh, I'm a blockhead now because I'm diving out of the ring, I guess. Oh no. And I lost uh, momentum for doing that kick to the back move. All right, Masters, I need some help, my man. I got no stamina. <laughs> tactical retreat, tactical retreat. Regroup, reassess, reevaluate the situation here. Get my stamina back. Let's not get counted out. Oh, no. Masters, where are you going? Where are you going, my man? Where are you going? Help me. I'm losing all my... Uh, look, I'm doing all dirty moves. I lost all my stamina. Or, not stamina, momentum. Only one ball. way out of this. this Only really one bad. way out. Oh, really Are we gonna the count out kids? <laughs> okay, I'm getting it all back. You know what, matches? You want to abandon me? I'll abandon you. I'm just gonna stick it in here and get my stamina. All right, you know what? I got your back. Believe. <laughs> All right, Kane is down for like six business days here. What's going on? Now that's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's just not getting up. What is happening? There we go. Jesus. Okay, Snitsky is going to do an environmental grapple on Masters. All right, here we go. I'm just going to go for the pin. There might be enough time here. Oh, Snitsky's not letting go. 
He didn't know what to do. It wasn't his fault. He didn't know what to do, guys. Carlito gets the win and the glory. Let's go. Some would say that was Snitsky's fault because he didn't release the environmental grapple, but it wasn't his fault. <laughs> Alright, how do you feel about that? Where's my magazine article and cover now? Now that's cool. He's beat the champs clean, brother! Chris Masters! Let's go. This man may be arrogant, but you know what? We're in this together, my man. Let me get one article in WWE Magazine. And I got loading screen at the start. At the start. That's cool. <laughs> I just saw your match, and I'm so excited. You might not know it, but I have to admit something kind of personal. I'm so jealous of you. I mean, getting to watch the masterpiece up close in action like that? I can't wait for all of us to celebrate his tag team title victory at Unforgiven. That party is going to last all night long. All right, back to this. His tag team title victory? Oh, my, what, where is this now? Um, I just wanted to clarify the last message. When I said I can't wait for all of us to celebrate after Unforgiven, I meant me and Chris and Tori. Not that you're not a great guy and all, but, well, let's face it. You're no Chris Masters. <laughs> Come on now. We're going to destroy the messages here. Oh, my God. All right. Well. That's not cool. <laughs> Not invited, I guess. Not cool enough. Oh, we're back in the locker room, I guess. All right, big guy. Girls, cut that out. There's plenty of time for that after the match. Sorry about that. Anyways, this is it. Unforgiven. The tag team titles are on the line. Now it's time to bring them home where they belong. Around the waist of the masterpiece. I know this is a high-pressure situation for you, but just relax. Remember who you're teaming up with. I've gotten us this far, so just follow my lead. And this will be a piece of cake. Alright, you know, whatever you say, man. I just want the titles, alright? Alright, tag team match. Masters, Carlito, Kane, Snitsky. I was kind of hoping this would be like some sort of special match. You know, like ladder, table, anything. But it's just a straight up tag match. <laughs> it's just literally what we just did. Oh, do I try to get the last laugh though and get Carlito the pin again to send a message here? It, that almost cost us last time because Carlito got damaged pretty bad. Here we go. The following tag team no commentary, wow. One On the way to the ring, we'll watch all the entrances here. Big match feel. Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 275 pounds, Chris Masters. Not invited to the party, alright? Maybe I should just hop off the apron and let you take care of all this, huh? Come on, man. If they would invite him, maybe we could have, like, done bobbing for apples, baked an apple pie, <laughs> some apple crisps or something, <laughs> apple jacks. <laughs> but no, I'm just not invited. That's not cool, my man. Boo this man, I agree. That uh, Unforgiven nameplate was pretty cool, actually. I like that design. All right, I can't let this man get the last pinfall. I don't care if it costs us the match here. I'm getting it, all right? Even if he has, like, no damage and I'm damaged, I'm staying in, brother. He's not getting the last <laughs> pinfall. I'll never hear the end of it. It'll be a magazine article about how Chris Masters won a 1 on 17 handicap match with one hand tied behind his back and a blindfold on.
We just need someone to keep him in line here. We need to bring Triple H out to drop that lose 100 pounds in two weeks line. <laughs> I need to... I think I'm going to look up that segment after this because I haven't watched it in a while. It's just... It always stuck in my mind. It's so savage, but so funny at the same time. I'm looking it up after I record this. I'm rewatching it. All right, here we go. That's right, they're cheering me. Who's the real hero here? Fans know, all right. All right, all business, brother. Regular tag match, pretty disappointing. Kind of surprised they wouldn't have done something. I honestly couldn't remember how this ended, like, so I was like, is it gonna be something special? No, just what we just did? Cool. <laughs> I kind of wish it was, like, Steel Cage or something. I, what I would probably do is just abandon Masters right away and then see if he could actually win by himself. Put his money where his mouth is. That's what I would want to do. I don't care if it would have cost us a match. That's what I would have done. That would have been so funny. Take what you want. Does Carlito want the tag titles or does he want revenge on Masters? You be cool. Or does he just want like a, a, a bunch of apples? Uh, Alright, some say last week was Snitsky's fault for being stuck in environmental grapple and not knowing how to cancel it. Absolute blockhead play. Snitsky! It wasn't his fault, he didn't read the manual, or watch the tutorial videos. <laughs> well actually, no, that is still a blockhead, because it says on the HUD how to cancel it. It says press B to stop, or something like that. <laughs> My man can't read. It's not his fault he can't read, though. Yep. That's the face of a champion right there. I'm surprised like the storyline is not like Kane and Big Show or something, but it's Kane and Snitsky. It's kind of weird. Oh, here we go. Weighing 326 pounds, Kane. Hey. You know, actually, to make this more interesting, maybe I should have just only controlled Carlito because it'd be kind of funny to see what the AI Chris Masters does. I know I did that in the first match, but uh, kind of would have been funny, you know. But instead, like, I had, like, total control of, like, you know, not getting Masters of the Glory, whereas if it was a computer, he could potentially try to steal it from me, but, you know, whatever. Too late. We're not going back. Crowd's letting Kane have it here, folks. I'm really surprised there's no commentary. This is the pay-per-view. This is the big match. Oh, God. Here we go. This is it. World Tag Team Titles on the line. Carlitos had to deal with Chris Masters nonsense. All for this. Was it worth it? I don't know. Maybe I should have just left him high and dry like RVD did. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm actually going to tag in Masters pretty early in the match. Do some damage and then get Carlito in there. Welcome to Reversal Fest, my man! Alright, stomp the leg, my favorite move. <laughs> Through. All right, let's get Masters like in here. You call him a monster. Just because Snitsky's a big, strong guy doesn't mean. Yeah, Kiro's just in the way. He doesn't care. Because he's depraved, King. He has no human feeling. And look at this. Look it's time to control. You're seeing it right here. Yeah. Well, somebody better put out that fire. Or this whole boy, this is not letting go. Oh, Snitsky's gonna make me let go. Turn the tables on his opponent with that one. 
I like that strike. I don't know. I don't know what it's called in the game. It's just like a double axe strike kind of. But I can't believe he countered that one. That went nowhere. Yep. Yo, Masters is doing it all by himself for real. Look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't take this <laughs> for long. He reversed it. A textbook reversal. A textbook, Paul Burchill there. He's all fired up now, King. And I'd hate to be on the okay, Masters, I'm holding up here. I'm holding up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought I was doing something. Oh! <laughs> Ref! <laughs> There we go. So strong, brother. And I love to hear it. Carlito wants in. Maybe, not yet, I don't think. Maybe I should, though. <laughs> yeah! Need some defense, Carlito. Alright. Carlito's throwing the match. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, we better store this for something crazy happens. Stay get up there, Carlito. Hurry up! Hurry up! There we go. The numbers game, brother. Isolate and exploit. Keep Kane isolated. I love how Carlito's the only good guy in this storyline because everyone else is playing heel in the story, but Carlito, the fans are still cheering him. They know. Oh no. This is a must reverse situation here. Beep! Reversal! Yeah, we got Kane Orange. Should we just go for a backcracker and put him away? Oh! Opportunity's knocking! Oh! There's no way I'll try it though. That's a rope break. Yeah. Should have dragged him. I, I got a little too reckless there. Oh, Carlito's already yellow? Are you serious? <laughs> That's not cool. See, look at the the actual like smart play here would be to tag in Masters. Master lot came for the win, but you know what? Carlito, he wants the glory for himself after everything's been put through by Masters, man. Carlito needs the pinner submission. Snitsky has no damage, so isolating Kane. Even though Snitsky's the easier opponent, we got Kane pretty damaged here. Yeah. It's time to control the moves. <laughs> Boy, when you look at these superstars, it really drives. Looks like he's going into cool shot. That's my new finish. <laughs> my God, Kane's got no momentum. Cover. Can we get Masters defense? No, he's an absolute blockhead. This blockhead Masters, man, ruined my ultimate control finish. Look at this. He's trying to tap out Kane. You're not the legal man, my dude. I'll take some damage on Snitsky, though. Yeah, headlock. Yeah. He just hit Kyoto with a knee drop or something somehow. Oh my god. Right, that wasn't my fault. Just like Snits Snitsky says, that wasn't my fault. Oh no. Masters wants in. You know what? No. Now I'm the arrogant one. <laughs> I want all of the glory myself, man. Deserved though, alright? After everything I've been through, man. Oh, Carlito's orange though. Oh no. This is where it gets interesting, I must say. If if Kane tags out, I'll tag in Masters for a bit. Otherwise, no. <laughs> I don't care if it's a smart thing to do to win here. hurt someone whether he means to or not True. To the crowd, here we go backcracker nope it was too to good to be true folks <laughs> smart, now kane's gonna control Remember, the moves these fans, these superstars are carlito taking shot. damage but i don't even know what carlito's durability stat is i didn't look it up after or before this i should say i mean i had the strategy guy could open to it but these superstars nah. sure aren't going easy on each other i don't think the fans appreciate it no. very much but I don't think he cares much what the fans think. That much is obvious, King. What a lowdown, despicable move that was. Despicable, King. 
Yeah, big reversal. I'll take that momentum to go, my man. But Kane's hanging in there, man. Carlito, every hit of damage. The match gets more and more interesting. Okay, big reversal. You know what? We're going to do something a little interesting here. Try to get some momentum for top rope. Nope. Damn, that would have been nice. That cracker! Okay, I need some actual defense this time, you blockhead. Get him. You are useless, my man. <laughs> You're too busy flexing. It ain't doing the same thing. Oh, my God. You had one job. You had absolutely one job. No. Okay, see, Master trying to tap him out, but he's the illegal guy. He's got double finishers. I don't care. You're not getting the pinfall. I'd rather lose than you get the pinfall. Now I'm targeting the wrong guy. Now I'm the blockhead. All right, let's see if I can time this. I jumped over him. All right. Oh, no. Snitsky still has no damage. I have, like, no stamina as Carlito. I'm actually in a very rough spot. You think I can even trust Masters to interrupt the pinfall? Oh, no. Carlito's exhausted, folks. Oh, no. <laughs> that was risky right there. No! Oh, my God. And there goes my momentum. Dirty maneuvers, folks. Hey, Kyoto, stop yelling, all right? I'll admit it. It's a little scary to watch up close, but I love watching all right, How many of these elbows am I allowed to hit in a row? <laughs> that was also a dirty move. Oh, no. All right, risky maneuvers here. Please don't punch me off, Snitsky. Yes! No, I did this again! All right, let's get full stamina here and then try, like, I don't know, like, strong grapple or something. Full stamina. That's cool, brother. My stamina is as green as my apple. There we go. I was going to need to start teeing off here. There we go. All right, we're rolling now. There we go. Okay, I need some actual defense. Otherwise, I'm going to start doing it myself here. I'm going to let you get a little bit closer. There. You can't mess this up. You're right there. You, why would you strong grapple? All right, Snitsky's a blockhead. I don't know who the bigger blockhead is. It's not Snitsky's fault, but Masters, you're a blockhead too. That was all me, all right? <laughs> I am the tag team champions. Blockheads everywhere, dude. The block party up in here. I wasn't invited to Masters party, but I invited the block party, a blockhead party. My God. We did it. <laughs> Here's your title. Wow, dialogue is not even, uh, the cutscene's not even long enough. <laughs> Alright, I regret choosing a team up with Masters. He's an absolute blockhead. I should have just fought him. I regret my choice, but you know, we'll do that in the uh, alternate story video, or alternate choices video, which is going to be like so long from now, but <laughs> we'll definitely do it. Alright, am I in the magazine this time? Solid gold. Okay, it's already just Masters. Masters shares tag team glory with Carlito. Ooh. Few superstars could single-handedly dominate Raw's tag division in the way that the masterpiece Chris Masters has over the past few weeks. And fewer still would be so gracious about sharing the glory with his partner. But that's exactly the kind of superstars that Masters is. Generous, loyal, humble to a fault. And if you don't believe us, just ask him. Alright, who wrote this? <laughs> Speaking on behalf of Carlito and myself. And by the way, you don't need to bother him with an interview. It's an honor to wear the Raw tag team titles, says Masters. And I believe it's much of an honor for Raw to finally have a tag team champion who truly makes the titles worthwhile. Masters won the titles match at Unforgiven against the former champions Kane and Snitsky with some assistance from Carlito and in a career studded with stellar victories that shines as one of the match's greatest accomplishments. To beat Kane and Snitsky in front of the whole world at the pay-per-view is one of the greatest moments of my life. And having a buddy like Carlito there to witness it only made it all the sweeter. Okay, maybe slightly less arrogant, but whoever, I think Masters is writing these articles. I'm gonna keep it real. But there you go, that was with friends like these, so... <laughs> so, kind of when I was uh, first starting to record this, I kind of, like, 
wanted to choose to side with Masters, but to be honest, I kind of wish I didn't. <laughs> He's an absolute arrogant blockhead, all right? But we'll do the alternate choice in a different video. That's going to be a while from now, though, so... Hope you enjoy. We still got more alternate stories to come, and we still got this right here. Paul Birch and his treasure coming soon to an alternate story video, so I'll see you then. But well, hold on. I gotta leave you as one last cool <laughs> memento here. The Carlito Rug. This is one half of your tag team champions. Alright, see you in the next one.